All eight candidates squared off in Saturday night's debate held in advance of the February 18th elections. While it was a fast for the incumbent Yorim Museveni, he offered a more assuring performance. I am here to talk about Uganda, not about fiction. <laughs> if you want fiction and you want uh, a, Nobel, a Nobel Prize for literature and composition, then you can talk the way you, are, you want to talk. If you were made president, the debate allowed the eight candidates to dig into issues like international affairs and regional peace. Some shared the same view on Uganda's membership in the International Criminal Court. Uganda should have pulled out of ICC yesterday. We don't see fairness in the ICC. We should build our justice system within the African continent and come out of the ICC. The, 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 the ICC is not serious. It is partisan, it is uh, biased, it is not really serious. There are so many people who can be tried uh, by them if they are serious. Uganda's involvement in the Democratic Republic of Congo between 1998 and 2003 started a heated exchange. One Museveni and his closest rival Kiza Besije, the leader of the Opposition Forum for Democratic Change, uncompromisingly indulged in. Not only did we go in Congo without a political consensus in our own country to take troops to Congo, but um, uh, our mission in Congo was uh, a very contentious one. And as you may know indeed, we have a judgment on our heads uh, by the International Court uh, to pay, I think, something up to 10 billion dollars which we which still hang on our necks. We intervened in Congo to defend ourselves. <laughs> Congo had been harboring the enemies of Uganda for a long time under Mobutu. The whole of the red zone is now peaceful and Dr. Bessie can go there and campaign the way he wants. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I reject this position. But the bottom line is that nobody can play around with the security of Uganda when I'm president of Uganda. The debate may have been a defining moment in the final stretch of the presidential campaigns. The difference in opinions on security, regional affairs and international trade have been noted by the voters. Many though feel social issues should have been top of the agenda. What do we mean by foreign policy when we don't talk about the issues people understand? Here, here, the principle is South Sudan, and the Ugandans are treated badly in South Sudan. So this, this was where there was a gap. Gender issues were not really handled in this campaign. That's what we were discussing earlier on with uh, the Honorable Winnie which is a fact. And I think we, there is room for improvement. Ugandans head to the polls on Thursday. While the candidates appear to have made their final statements, it could still take a few more days for voters to make up their minds. Leon Senyange, CCTV, Kampala.